Oliver rolled into the yards after a long day of work. As he took a drink from the water tower, he saw Gordon and James talking to each other. He's much too important to pull such an ancient load, surely? I don't understand what makes it so special. It's just some old bones after all. If anything, someone like Toby should take it instead. Ah, yes. After all, he is old. The fossils deserve each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Toby's as old as dirt anyway. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what all that was about. Did you see Stepney, Oliver? Have you seen what his special's like? No, but I heard James and Gordon talking about it. They said it was a lot of old junk. Those big engines don't know what they're talking about. I think it's great. So do I. I've never seen anything quite like it. Well, don't let them hear you say that. They'll tease you both too. Just then, Stepney arrived. The engines liked Stepney. Stepney worked on the Bluebell Railway and always had interesting stories to tell his friends whenever he came to visit. Hello everyone! Hi Stepney! We were just telling Oliver about your special. What sort of special is it? It's very special and very old. So Top Met needs somebody to take to the museum. So I offered to do it. That reminds me. You and Sir Topham go way back if I'm correct. I met him when he was just a boy. It was ages ago for the Bluebell Railway bought me, back when I worked on the mainland. <laughs> oh, really? And I'm a cucumber on wheels. Ah, you don't believe me, eh? I suppose I can just cut to the chase and tell my story. And this is the story Stepney told. Years ago, Stepney used to work on a small line, taking push-pull trains. He enjoyed his little branch line. The people were friendly and always happy to see him. One day, Stepney was taking some coal for some of the larger mainline engines when he noticed a man and a young boy beside the track. Hold on, that's Mr. Hat. He's in charge of that new railway on Sonor. Is something the matter, sir? Indeed there is. We hit a runt in the road. Now our carriage has a broken axle. To make matters worse, the horse taking us has run off. Please, we need to reach the next station. Otherwise, we'll miss our train home. Well, sir, I don't have any coaches, but you're more than welcome to ride in one of the coal trucks. That's fine by us. Come on, Topham. Come in, Grandfather. So, the hats crawled on top of a coal truck and Stepney set off. Soon they arrived at the station. Young Totten and his grandfather were covered in coal dust. That was fun. Thank you, Setney. Help me to help, young Topham. Someday, when I take charge of the railway, I'd love for you to come and visit. And sure enough, I did end up coming for a visit. But you all know that already. That was a wonderful story, Stepney. Although... It's funny to think that Sir Topham Hatt would ever get that dirty. Well, anyway, I think we should get some rest. I'm sure we all have important work to do tomorrow. One by one, the engines fell asleep in their sheds. All except for Oliver, who couldn't help but think about what Stepney Special was. The next morning, Oliver was collecting some coaches when he noticed Stepney pull in with some unusual cargo. Hello, Oliver. What do you think of my special train? It looks old. It's the oldest thing I've ever pulled. Makes me feel young. This old chest is full of treasure from Rolf's castle. Back during the days and nights. Like this suit of armour and this catapult. I see. But what's that? It looks like a giant lizard bird. Whatever it is. That's a fossil from the age of the dinosaurs. It's going to be displayed in the museum fair in Tidmouth. I'll be on display too, giving people rides. After all, I am a bit of an old design. 
Oliver thought it all very interesting, but he remembered Gordon and Jane saying it was nothing but old pieces of junk. He didn't know what to think. A little while later, Sir Topham Hatt came to see the engines. Stepney and his special must go to Tidmouth for the museum show. The train is very heavy, and so someone will have to push from behind. Pah! Push? I'm no banker. I would not push a special made of solid gold, let alone that pile of old junk. I only pull specials, and important ones at that. Same here. I'd rather take coal trucks than take some silly old bones. Can I help Stepney, sir? I don't mind pushing some old things. Thank you, Oliver. I appreciate when engines prove they're really useful. Hm. Better him than us. Stepney and Oliver were making their way to the museum show. All the while, Oliver felt worried as everyone made remarks about the unusual load. Don't let them mistake you for that old junk and send you to the scrapyard! <laughs> I didn't think it were getting that old yet, Oliver! <laughs> Come on, old timers! Snails would be faster than you! <laughs> <sighs> I hope the people at the fair won't think I'm some old fossil, too. Bother! I've got a puncture. I'll have to get out the spare. Hopefully this shouldn't take too long. Here we are, Oliver! We need to take our train into that siding right there. All right then. Well, would you look at that. I've never seen so many animals in one place. Oh, that's the petting zoo. Children can come and see the animals. What else is there? Trevor and Elizabeth are here on display with other vintage machinery. They seem to be getting a lot of attention. Hey look, it's Oliver. He and Stephanie brought a dinosaur. It's so cool. Oliver? was very surprised. He hadn't expected the children to be so happy to see him. No one was laughing at him or calling him old. The children crowded around looking at the fossil, which made Oliver so happy he didn't feel worried anymore. Just then, Sir Topham Hatt walked up to the engines. Very good work, Oliver and Stepney. Thank you, sir. Oh! Good gracious, sir! What happened? You're all dirty. My car had a flat tire, and trying to mend it only made a mess. I probably should have traveled with you both. I haven't been this dirty in a very long time. Remember that day with the cold truck, Stepney? <laughs> I remember, sir. You were an active little boy back then. Just like these children here. This is one day they'll never forget. And neither will I. All right, everyone, smile for the camera. So, steam! Steam! Surprised how often that someone saves the day. Surprises, surprises. 
surprises They come all shapes and sizes You never know what's round the bend It might delight, it might offend That's why they're surprises With all their highs and lows Yet come on top Or come full stop Who knows, who knows, who knows Surprises can be dull and flat Cause no one knows what's down the line You can be sure of that Surprises, surprises They come all shapes and sizes You never know what's round the bend It might delight, it might offend That's why there's surprises With all their highs and lows Yet come on top Or come full stop Who knows, who knows, who knows Surprises, surprises, they come all shapes and sizes.